Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And today I want to show you some uh, beginner uh, licks and stuff and just some general ideas that you can use uh, with both of the pentatonic scale patterns that we've gone over recently. So these are just some kind of basic uh, licks that you can uh, learn and kind of get uh, to kind of help you get some ideas for come up with your, you know, with your own uh, licks and stuff like that. So be sure to click on the link down below so you can get the tab so you can easily follow along with this lesson. And let's get close up and take a look at what we got. So the first thing I want to look at is um, we're in here in pattern one. And we're doing these in E minor. Uh, but again, these are shapes that you know are movable. So once you learn how to do this in this key, you can easily transpose it into another key because it's just going to be the same sequence. Okay, so um, we're going to start off here on the uh, um, 14th fret of the G string with my third finger, and I've got my first finger on the 12th fret and my second finger on the 13th fret because we're going to bend this string. So it's a lot easier to bend, even though this is the note, you know, but putting these other two fingers behind you're going to get a lot more leverage and it just makes it a lot easier to be able to do the bend. So we're going to do that bend and then we're going to take our first finger and just bar it across the 12th fret of the high E and the B string. So actually you just want to do that first. There's You have enough leverage just with your second and third finger here to do this bend. So we do this bend and then follow that by picking the, the B and E string. So I'm just doing this just with um, just a down on the band and then down. So we do the band and then follow it with the 12th fret of the B and then the high E. Then we're going to go, we're going to keep your finger barred there. Then we're going to go to the 15th fret of the B string and we're going to pick that and do a pull off and follow it with the high E. So the whole... This is an extremely common uh, lick. You probably, you probably recognize it already. You may not necessarily remember what song you've heard it from because it's in lots and lots of different songs and stuff. It's a very just, you know, common garden variety lick. But by learning something like this, then you can, you know, you can change it. You can make it your own. Okay, so um, another one that I want to do is in a previous uh, lesson we went over, we added in like the blue note and the major third and all that different stuff like that. So here's one. We're going to start on the 12th fret of the G string, but you're going to use your second finger and you're going to pick that and slide up a half step to the 13th fret. So what that's going to do is we're going to we're playing the minor third and we're sliding into the major third. Then you take your first finger, bar it just like we did on the previous one, and we're going to bar it here at the twelfth uh, fret, going across the B and high E string. And in this case, we're pick slide, and then we're going to pick the B string. And then the uh, uh, the high E, and then back to the B string, and then we're going to go to the fifteenth fret on the B string, and I'm using my third finger, and immediately I just put my second finger behind it, and then my first finger, because we're going to bend. So. That right there is very similar to the thing that we just did. So if we we can hook them together like that. You know, there's so many different variations that you can do just by hooking those together. Uh, you can try doing it the other way first. switching them around the opposite way, either way, um, just whatever you think sounds better. As you're going through and like coming up with your own licks and stuff, 
don't be don't be like really focused on um, whether or not you're getting all these different things in there. You know, like okay, well, I got to make sure I got bends and hammer-ons and pull-offs and slides and everything all in one leg. Um, you can do that, but it isn't absolutely necessary that you always throw everything in. Just mess around with it. And a good way to do is if you come up with something, is just to you know, let's say you end up you know. So like that's 12, 15 on the B string, 12 on the high E. I'm going 12, 15, and then 12 on the high E, back to the 15 on the B, back to the 12 on high E, to 15, back to 12, Any little combination like that, but anyway, you can do is you can instead of picking every note, you could try doing a pick hammer and a hammer pull, just by messing around with stuff like you know changing notes that you pick to hammer ons um, or into slides. It 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 just adds a lot of texture and uh, flavor to what you're playing. Okay. Then uh, this next one here I want to look at, we're going to use um, pattern uh, uh, number two that we did. So again in E, so I'm starting on the, uh, the uh, seventh fret of the A string and I'm going to slide from nowhere into that and then go to the next note in the scale which is the uh, fifth fret of the D string. So seven, five, seven, back to the five again um, on the D string, and then hammer to the seven, slide to nine. And then from there to the uh, um, seventh fret of the G string. Now I'm leaving my, my, my ring finger here so you can hear them ring over each other. After let them ring like that, then my first finger is already where it needs to be on the fifth fret of the, or excuse me, the seventh fret of the G string. So I'm going to pick that and do a hammer on to the ninth fret, and then now I'm going to use my second finger to go to the eighth fret of the B string. But I'm leaving my my ring finger where it was on the G string, so that way I can get those two notes together, you know, like a little double stop. All different kinds of variations that you can do on that. Alright, so thanks for watching. That is all I've got for you today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if there's something you'd like to see me uh, cover in a future lesson or one of the other instructors here at guitarcontrol.com. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.